Good morning. So the question I got the other day was, Dave, how do you convert leads, right? Like an internet lead comes in and what do I do? What do I say? And I know that we've all got our scripts. So let me tell you what not to do first and then we'll tell you what to do, right? So what not to do is to call up and be like, ring, hey, Mr. Customer, my name's David Young and I'm from David Young Financial and we're the blah, 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 and I'm so awesome, awesome, awesome and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna talk for the next five minutes and then be like, hello, hello, and no one's there. I mean, come on, would you wanna listen to the that person that like blabbers and blabbers on about blah, 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 blah. So this is how I do it. Everybody's got a different strategy, right? So I first start with mindset, right? So my mindset when I call a potential client who is an internet lead, I mean, they don't know me from Adam, right? And I don't know them from Adam either. But I do know that this person not only could be a client, but could be a great friend and a good referral partner, right? So I like how Stephen Covey says, begin with the end in mind, because now I'm going to call them and think of them as, hey, how would I sound if I were to be talking to one of my friends? So instead of being like, ring, 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 I'm so awesome, I'm going to say something like this. Hello, Mr. Customer. Hey, Dave Young here. How are you? Ask how they're doing. I mean, honestly, I mean, that's the number one thing in any conversation. When you call up your best friend and be like, hi, I work for blah, 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 financial, and I'm so awesome, 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 right? No, you're going to be like, hey, how are you? Great. You know, he's going to say good or okay or whatever, right? I'm going to say, great. You're looking at different homes online. What have you found that you're interested in? Again, ask them a question. Don't just be like, hey, I'm so awesome. I see that you, would you like to apply for a mortgage? No, heck no. Nobody wants to apply for a mortgage. I do mortgages and I don't want to apply for a mortgage. Come on. Besides, it's mortgage. It's dead pledge. That's what it means. French for dead pledge. Nobody wants a mortgage, right? Never ask, do you want to apply for a mortgage? The answer should always be no. No. Heck no, right? You can ask them, hi, my name's Dave. How are you? And then here's the trick. Listen doing good or okay. Great. How's your weekend? Great. Hey, I'm just calling you because you're interested in these homes. What have you found that you're interested in? Oh, you know, I'm, I found a three bedroom, two bath house. Well, why do you want a three bedroom, two bath house? Well, because my family's growing and I need more space. Wait, why are you calling? great question. I'm here to answer all of your, your financing questions and such. So why do you need more space? Are you looking to sell a home or are you renting currently? Oh, I'm, I'm renting currently. Well, hey, you've probably been noticing that the home prices have been going up quite a bit, right? Well, yeah. Well, don't you wish you would have bought like three years ago? Oh yeah, but I couldn't afford it back then. Well, the good news is, is that we've got some awesome programs that can help you get qualified. We even have programs that give you down payment assistance. We can do 100% financing. We can get you out of the tyranny of renting and into buying a home. So what are the, the top three reasons why you'd like to purchase a home? And they're going to give you three reasons why they want to purchase a home, right? See how it's conversational? You're learning about them, right? So if they're like, no, I'm not interested. Well, not interested in what? I mean, that's kind of like the tagline, right? That's that's the line that they use when they go into like the store and that annoying salesperson's like following them around, being like, hey, do you want to buy that pair of pants? They're going to be like, no, I'm not interested. So if they pull that line on you because it's just a canned response, right? Be like, huh, why? I mean, ask that question, why? I mean, they went online, requested information, even po potentially found a house. And they're just going to be like, yeah, not interested. Right? No. It means that you've done a bad job in being a salesperson. A very, very bad job. Right? Let's just be honest. If I get that, if I get that person that's like, no, I'm not interested. I did a terrible job of building rapport. That first 30 seconds of that phone call, I failed. Failed. Right? So my question is, why, Mr. Customer? Why were you looking? What were you thinking when you went online and filled that out?
Now it's an open-ended question, not just, I'm not interested. Oh, thank you. No, that's a terrible salesperson. You'd be shocked at how many people call themselves salespeople and don't. We're really not selling anything. I know salesperson is kind of a general term. We're, we're really not selling anything. What we're doing is we're being great listeners, right? You want to listen for those needs and find a solution for those needs. We should be solution finders, right? We're not trying to choke some product down somebody's throat. We're not trying to sell them that blue pair of jeans or something like that, right? We want to focus on what their needs are. That's why we're asking so many open-end questions, right? And then we need to find the solution for their needs. That's simple. Talk to them like you're, they're your friends. Smile the entire time you're on the phone. Yeah, I got a crazy smile. Smile while you're on the phone. People hear it, right? Smile, have inflections in your voice. I don't sound like a robot. Hello, Mr. Smith. My name is Damon Young. Would you like to apply for a mortgage? No! They're going to say no! And if they say yes, then they're crazy, right? You want to say, hey, what is it that you're looking for? How can I help you? What would be your dream home? What is your financial goal? Where do you see yourself in five years? These are all excellent questions to ask. Write these things down. And when you do qualify them for financing, know why they wanted to purchase that home. So while they're in process, you could say, oh man, is Jimmy excited? Because you know what, this is closer to his school. Right? He'll finally be close enough so that you can drive him to baseball practice. Does he like baseball still? Right? These are things that you want to know. Because after the loan closes, so let's say you do a great job up front. And you build that rapport and you get to know them and you find out what their needs are. You do a good job of putting those pieces together to fit all their needs and they purchase that home. And here's the last step that less than 5% of anybody's ever gonna do, follow up with people. Treat them like they're human still and follow up with them. You already got to know them. They already know, like, and trust you. Hopefully you know, like, and trust them, right? Invite them to a barbecue. Go meet their family. Take them out for lunch. Well, this is a one-time transaction. No, mortgages are not a one-time transaction. This is a relationship, right? You might be able to be the preferred lender for their employer. You might be able to be the preferred lender for the book club, be the preferred lender for their church, be the preferred lender for the community organization, right? They are going to be your advocate. They are your walking billboard, and they're your friends now. So how cool is that? We make a lot of money to make a lot of friends. What better job is this? You get paid to make friends in this business, right? You can go to a call center and just get paid to answer telephones and be a widget. You know, robots will be doing those jobs soon. But in this job, in this role, what you've been hired to do, right, is you get paid to make friends. How awesome is that, right? If this isn't the best job that you've ever had, ever had in your entire life, you're doing it wrong. So hopefully this answers your question on how do I convert leads? Because they're not leads. They're potential relationships. They're potential friends. They're potential best friends, right? This is awesome. I hope you enjoy this. Call me if you have any questions. Thanks.